me now, Brad Steinle, Kate's brother. Brad, thank you very much for being here. Thanks, Megan. So the White House response today is, no, we're not doing it. I mean, you have your answer. You go to Capitol Hill, you testify, and already you heard from Josh Ernest, these are not serious proposals. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to hear. You know, we uh, put forth our best effort. We came to D.C. and uh, trying to make a change that we think is logical. It's a matter of keeping felons off the streets. And uh, instead of tackling the problem and being proactive, I feel like there's uh, a diversion and uh, people aren't taking it seriously. What, what, how did, I mean, not only did the White House say this isn't serious, you know, this isn't a serious proposal, but today Nancy Pelosi, San Francisco representative that now the House Minority Leader, comes out and says this legislation ought to be called the Donald Trump Act and says it's wildly partisan, it's a misguided bill that second guesses the decision of police chiefs around the country about how to best ensure public safety. Well, um, anybody that would second guess the Chief of Police, San Francisco. Uh, Mercurimi has obviously done a horrible job. And uh, the fact that you le let a seven time convicted felon with five deportations um, bring him to your city, roll out the red carpet, and uh, let him go on to murder my sister, you know, you're, not, you're not doing a good job. And, and you need to have uh, some strict guidelines on how to cooperate with the federal government. I mean, the nerve, the nerve of her to become indignant at your attempt to second guess the sheriff who let out the man despite a detainer request from ICE who wound up killing Kate. The, I, what, what will get through to them, Brad? What will get through to them if not the testimony we heard yesterday, Kate's death, which has received national attention? She's, she's indignant over the proposal to do something about it. Yeah, um, yeah, words cannot express. I, I thought we'd come here and I felt as though we met with numerous senators uh, in D.C. and I, we did have some positive feedback, both on the left and the right side. For those senators, congressmen, and women that don't get what we're trying to do, it's narrow, it's black and white. We're just trying to keep felons off the street and keep Americans safe. And it doesn't go much further than that. Do you feel, well, let me ask you this, because it's, it's been over a week now since you and I spoke the last time. Have you heard from the White House yet? We have not. We have not. We're not really expecting a call. It's, uh, it's like what just happened in Chattanooga. You, you wait four days to uh, lower the flags to half staff. We've sat and waited for two weeks for a call. Uh, it seems as though you need to go out and protest and people need to be angry in order to, to get something done. I'm not going to be angry. My parents aren't going to get angry. We're going to try to take a proactive and uh, positive way to get change done. I mean, after you specifically publicly said, we would like to hear from them. You would like to hear from the White House, from the administration, and yet still in the wake of that, they don't call. We, we played a soundbite last week of Sandra Fluke a birth control advocate, uh, activist. She received a call from President Obama personally mm -hmm. because Rush Limbaugh had called her a nasty name. And they cannot make the time to call your family after policies they support and won't change led to the death of your sister. It's hard to believe. It is. It's hard to believe. With government and, and people's agendas, they have blinders on and uh, there's a blinder on many people you know in, in the White House and and uh, they don't see Kate and they don't see her death as something that's meaningful um, but we're gonna keep pushing we're going to keep on trying to get like-minded people that uh, understand what we're trying to accomplish and we're trying to keep keep people from uh, having to deal with what we're dealing with today what do you make of um Donald Trump and Nancy Pelosi's assertion they should call this the Donald Trump law or the Donald, Tr Donald Trump act. Has he reached out to your family? He has. He has. Um, actually, respect him. He uh, had the decency to call. Uh, he called a couple of times and, um, you know, it's, it's more than some have done. But uh, this, isn't, this isn't Donald Trump's policy. This isn't Donald Trump's law. This is Kate's law. And it's, it's very cut and clear it's to keep convicted felons that are illegal immigrants out of our country or in jail it's very simple 
Mm. Brad, very good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for having All me. All the best to you and your family. Thanks, Megan.